everyone. Mark from uh, Creating Chances here. Just um, want to take a bit of your time just to share some thoughts and ideas with you on how we engage and build relationships with young people in our programs. And to help me with this, we're going to uh, we're going to talk to Joe Tao, one of our uh, key head facilitators, and uh, someone who's taught me an awful lot on how to engage. Uh, with young people, how to build those relationships and try to achieve or help to achieve the outcomes that we hope to get through the Creative Chances program. So we're just connecting with Joe and hopefully he's going to join us very shortly. But one of the things that we pride ourselves on at Creative Chances is that ability to engage with the students in your schools and hopefully to, to support the work that you are doing in, in connecting young people to some positive role models and to their to the school, to the work that they're um, they're doing in the classroom, and really build the capacity of uh, of the students to uh, to achieve the outcome that uh, that we hope they can through their school life. So, Joe's just about to join us very shortly. So, for those of you that have have had Joe in your schools, I'm sure you'd uh, you'd appreciate the skills and talents he's got. And hopefully, uh, he's going to share a few of those uh, with us now. Here we go. We're just about to come on. We are audio. Get a video. Hey Joe, how you going, mate? Hey bro, how are you? Yeah, I'm very good. I'm very good. I know you've had a busy day. We had a bit of a chat earlier on. So tell us a little bit about what you're, you've been up to today, and then uh, yeah, we'll kick off and get into our uh, into our chat. What have you been up to? So, yep, just give us a second. Yeah, all good. <laughs> Can you hear me? Right? Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, awesome. Hey man, yeah. Oh man, today's been a good day. I had rise up in the morning. Uh, Realised it was day number fifteen. Really? Yeah, uh, rise up. Fifteen days, and well, yeah, it's helped me. As uh, as I hope it's been helping everyone else. It's on the other side of the camera. Yeah. So just yeah. tell us a bit. What, what's 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 rise up all about? What's the uh, what's his purpose? I guess. Yeah, I guess the purpose is like you know just uh, you know beginning of the day, you know, being able to, especially in school holidays, being able to uh, just get up and get physical, you know, like, especially for the kids, you know, just waking up and still in that sleepy zone and sort of, you know, just mope around the house sort of thing and try and get them up, you know, join a group, you know, where, where we would, uh, 10 minutes of exercise, man, but at the same time being able to have that window of opportunity to, you know, share some light and share some some goodness, you know, if uh, a quote or something to talk about what's going on and, you know, the goodness of everything and looking forward to the day ahead, you know, so it's just that thing of rising up uh, physically, I guess mentally as well, you know, just, yeah, man, so everything we do is always got a good purpose to it, so yeah. It'll, uh, it'll work for adults as well though, won't it? So if I get up in the morning, it'll set me up for the day? Yeah, definitely, like, you know, just online and seeing all the different, um, I guess, people and there's different services on there as well. You know, just taking part and just encouraging each other on the, on the chat there. So yeah, it's good kids from everywhere, all over, all over you know, New South Wales with all the schools that we're working in. So yeah, the engagement's good. Cool. Um, I guess I, when I was getting ready for the, for our chat, I, I thought back to when, uh, not sure if you remember this, but we first met back in, I think maybe 2011, when, uh, we were we were running some programs with the sports commission, and you were you were there learning, I guess, some some coaching skills. So our our history goes back a fair way. And one of the things that um, I'm grateful for, for knowing you and uh, spent time with you is is just seeing how you engage and work with um, young people. Um, I guess in your sphere and in your uh, yeah in your uh, in your world, um, we can learn a huge amount from you, and, and we're. I'm sure all the people that you've worked with in the schools are really thankful for the skills you've got. So I just wanted to take a bit of time to share some of those skills and I guess um, be able to pass on some messages to, to schools, to teachers, to, to youth workers, I guess. Um, some of those strategies and hopefully yeah, moving through the period that we're in now, we can use those uh, strategies and skills to, um, to engage young people in a, in a more meaningful way and I guess bring some normality back to, to everyone's life. So you were, I guess we first engaged with you when you were a, a CLO at um, Senior College, Chifley College. Um, yeah. Just want to go, I guess, just explain, I guess, what, what that role does, really, and I guess some of the, I guess, what some of the sort of things you were looking to achieve when you were in that role. I was just, um, 
yeah, mainly it was just youth engagement, um, you know, being able to connect with the kids and if there are any sort of, um, any way we can help out, you know, if there are any problems or just giving a bit of direction, you know, wherever they're relating to. But yeah, um, and I, you, you yourself, Mark, you know, you know, and working with you for, for a long time, man, something that I, I picked up from you is your work ethic, man, and, and like, you know, it's, I guess the, the kids being able to connect with them and, and like, you know, it's, we can say so much, but it's our actions that speak louder than words. You know what I mean? So, and like, you know, when, when we work together, all the kids, man, they're, they're listening their eyes when, when they're watching you. And that's one thing that I've picked up and um, being able to, you know, take on board as well. It's like, just remember that my actions speak louder. You know, the, the kids, especially like, um, if we're trying to be a person of influence, um, and there it's like the kids are more like, don't tell me, show me. You know what I mean? So yeah, just but yeah, man, like um, yeah, well, however I can help and and whatever I advise, like given through my experiences here, man. So with the um, I guess when you if you're presented with a a, a new group or young people that you, you don't know, what's what I guess what's one of the first things you might do to engage them to start building those relationships. Um, yeah, what, I guess what, what simple tools might you use to help build those relationships? Yeah, well, I, I guess from the beginning, the, the you know, first impressions, they eh? say so energy, you know, you, you've got to be what, what you want the outcome to be, you know what I mean? So it's, um, yeah, it's got to, you know, be impacting from the beginning and, you know, just, it's not, so much what you say it's how you say it mm -hmm. and yeah kids will always remember that you know they might not hear the rest of the day but they'll always remember how impactful you were you know how you were able to you know just smile at them or just say say something engaging you know where you know that's all they needed to hear you know yeah. what I mean and it's like remembering their names that kind of you know that okay. kind of stuff but, mm. um so with that um I guess with those those first session so this might relate to, to when we go back to school or when I guess the, the first time the group sessions you might find some barriers I guess to engaging with young people um, I remember somebody you introduced me once mentioned that all everybody puts up barriers and builds a wall around them to yeah. uh, to protect themselves I guess and particularly now where people are, are vulnerable that um, there are lots of barriers and lots of bricks in those in that wall um, and there are certain traits and things that we can do to remove those barriers. So one of those might be um, cultural connections with young people. So in, in your case, there's some Pacific Island um, that may, you know, that will build connections. One is, is age and gender also. So we can remove these bricks. So what have you yeah. found? I guess, what, yeah, again, what sort of strategies might be used to, to, to remove those bricks so people get to connect with you? So they'll see your cultural background and... and you know how you act. Yeah. What ways have you done? I, to, I, to I guess you know it's a uh, it's a benefit with a you know what, whatever ethnicity you are, and if you're working with a kid that's the same ethnicity as you, then you know it works to your favour. But like, but at the same time, man, the thing is, is it's just being genuine. You know what I mean? And like, it's I've, I've learned that like, yeah, you know, there is a way to do things. They you know they write down structures on, on how to engage and you know, how to approach it, that kind of stuff. But like, you would, I guess how, how you say it, like your, your genuineness will, will, will be the thing that shines through. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's the stuff that will, you know, because kids aren't stupid, you know what I mean? And they, they, they can they can break those walls down, they'll take those bricks down once they know that, you know, you mean what you say, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? It's sort of like engagement of like looking them in the eye, saying their name or remem <clears throat> remembering their name. And just looking them in the eye, really, you know, they can. It really does want to know how I am when, when you ask. Yeah, you okay. know what I mean. Yeah, it's, it's not really reading from a book sort of thing, but it's, it's acknowledging that, yeah, okay, this is my role, this is my job, this is my purpose. I'm going to go in there. And I'm going to lift that kid's spirit. You know what I mean? It, it comes from from the beginning. You know, no matter what level they're at, when they they might be at their lowest or they might be, you know, halfway up. You know, it's just. Yeah, just kids will pick it up, and you know, like it's not being spiritual or anything like that. It's just you know, it's just when you're genuine, you're genuine. Kids will pick that stuff up, and yeah. So one of the 
of the things I guess you, you, you mentioned there, certainly in terms of names, um, how important is, you know, as a, <laughs> Mark is a Anglo name and very easy to pick up, those from, from you know, backgrounds other than English, yeah. how significant is getting the pronunciation and the, I guess the information from the name? I, I guess for, for some others, I like you know, I, I I really think it's important. But for any any ethnic group like you know, whether you're African, you know, or, or Spanish, it's good to be able to call their name the way their parents call their name. You know what I mean? And it's, I guess it really comes down to the culture they're passionate about it. That's one way you, you can really connect with the kid. Mm -hmm. If you get if you if you have a kid in, in your class and his names are uh, Tiosi, you know, Tunnel uh, Mike there, you know, if you can say that the way his name is said is actually said the way his parents call him, then it'll be like, damn, wow, this dude or this, this teacher has some respect to me, man. So, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll give the respect back, man. So, it's just the little things, eh? The little things that if, like, if you struggle, ask them, work with them, you know? Oh, COC, COC. And if she says, oh, no, my name is COC. But can you teach me how to say it? How would you spell it in, in English? You know what I mean? How do you how do you say the the vowels the A A E O U A E I O U? You know what I mean? And be able to connect with them there, and then yeah. not like you being a teacher, they they jump into your shoes and they actually up in you. Okay. You know, so yeah, that's a big connection there. Just being able to get the names, but like not just Polynesian, but any, any. You know what I mean? So I guess in in, in that regard, then it's you're right, flipping that relationship between um, student, teacher, student mentor, however, however it might yeah. be, is actually flipping that around and, and using the, I guess, young people are experts in their own names and, and how yeah. to speak and how to educate. So that, I guess shifting that power, I guess, yeah, there's, there's some equality in that and, and establishing the, it's not a power relationship, but we're actually, in this, in this point, you're, I'm the learner, and you're the expert in this, so, and yeah, I guess. How, what do you think? How was the reaction? So, if you were, to, you know, when you when students know you've got their right name and right pronunciation, what sort of reactions do you see from that? Oh man, I've, I've heard from teachers. Teachers have told me, you know, I've I've even been to a school where the deputy said to me, you know, oh, I need you to speak to this kid. This kid is so and so. And I just looked at her and I'm like, you said that really well. And she's like, yeah, I know. I did my homework. You know yeah. what I mean? So, and then she says, my connection with the kids is really good. Well, you know, it's all because of something, I guess, you know, some people might say so small, but it's yeah. massive for the kids. Yeah. So, you, you know, Mark, in, in saying that, it's like, you know, putting yourself in, in their shoes for them to experience that they're putting themselves in your shoes. You know what I mean? So it breaks a lot of barriers of like, okay, if you can do that for the kid, then, then the kid will look at like everything else is like okay, so Miss or Sir, then I better you know pull my socks up or tell the boys to settle down because I understand that she's got a, or he's got twenty kids to look after and it's just them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? At the same time, the teacher as well being able to put themselves in, in their shoes and you know being a student, you know going back and thinking, okay, cool, this is you know to me it's so simple. And but we'll then being able to put yourself in their shoes as well, you know what I mean? So I guess so, that I guess that's um I think humble is probably is probably the right word is particularly where we're yeah, going man. through challenges at the moment. I guess that this is um, you know there's, there's a big reset sort of button, but it actually is lots of people are struggling. It's a challenge for everybody, teachers and students. I think there's an amazing job that's going on at the moment to to see how we engage you know, with young people. No, you know, Mark, it, it is a, a humility, but understanding that, like, you know, teachers, you know, they have a role and they have a job and, and that's what they're, you know, they're there to do, you know, when when they're getting ready for work, they put on their suit, you know, and, and, and they know their role. Um, there was one time I was working in Blacktown and a lot of the Afri African kids and the Islander kids were like, um, you know, were like, getting into a lot of trouble and then there was well, but listening to them and I've seen you know the cops are this and the cops are that so it's, it's sort of like you know and then I, I spoke to one of the bosses and I said hey man I, you know there's some stuff going down but 
you know, maybe your boys need to take it a bit easy, you know what I mean? And then being able to understand from their point of view, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You know, the, the, the cops and, yeah, but it's, it's both ways to see the cops being the way they are, the way the kids see them, the kids don't realise what they go through, you know, mm -hmm. and what their purpose is. You know, a lot of them will be wearing the uniform, but, and their purpose is like, you know, they're going to catch the bad guys. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But at the same time, they need to understand that not everyone's a bad guy. You know? You know yeah. it's, it's the same thing like with, with the teachers. The teachers are, you know, might, might have a thing to play out with, but not every kid is a bad kid. You know what I mean? But not every kid is just going to chip on their shoulder. Yeah. Sort of thing. Yeah. So, I so, have, with, I, is, I, so when you're working with, um, I guess, particularly creating chances now, but also back when you were a CLO, but what's the... Yeah. So you building the relationship with young people, what's the yeah. outcome of that for a school? Or what, 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 what's the school hoping to get? Or what do you think someone engaging with you, building a positive relationship, looking up to you, what's the impact that they want to see or you want to see in their school engagement? I guess just the whole thing of like just them being, being good students or, or good members of the school or like, you know, feeling one in the community, just we want our kids to be good citizens. Mm -hmm. You know, so our community can, can be good, and, and that's the whole purpose of it. We don't want them getting lost, and um, but it's, it's like attention, you know, because someone wasn't there, and you know, maybe dad's not there, you know, or and, and that's the reason why they are. There. Things are going on, on at home, and that kind of stuff. So it's just being able to understand that. Yeah, I guess you know, humility comes with it, like you were saying. But like, um, I guess why do we do what we do? Why do the teachers? teach why did they choose their occupation or, or their career path and like for me like there's a youth worker it's like I want I want to be someone that I wanted when I was young you know what I mean mm -hmm. and I guess with anyone that's sort of like uh, for a teacher I want to be the teacher that I wish I had back then you know what I mean yeah. and everyone's different you know, yeah. you know and like even for police officers I want to be a cop because I want to be the cop that can help serve my community you know yeah. what I mean? So I like that. So, okay, yeah, so you're right, I guess, yeah, be, be, the, be the teacher or be the mentor or be the facilitator that you wanted when, when you were coming. Yeah. And nice um, circle that around. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying that your, that your teachers back then weren't good. It's just that, you know, like, they did a good job, you can do better. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's, not, that's how it works. We need to get better by generation by generation, no matter which field we're in. So, so I guess sort of bringing that up to the to the current um, to the current situation. Um, have you been in any conversations with with young people? Like, what's your are they sharing any thoughts on how they're um, dealing with it, or some of the challenges they're going through at the moment? Yeah, like I, I guess the whole challenge is like with, with everywhere and everyone is just our kids see so much these days that we didn't see back then. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So like, you know, you've got social media, you know, just, you know, showing them a whole lot of different things, what's going on, you know, things we we didn't know were happening, like, and they're, they're so busy, and it's sort of like, they they got so much on, mm -hmm. you know, but I, I, I guess, you know, I'll I, I just like, you know, to be able to, just to slow things down for them, you know, and by way of just like, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure the teachers will be doing it just, getting rid of phones during class and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And just like, yeah. So how, how do you think they're, um, how do you think they're feeling out? So I guess in, in terms of isolation and, um, yeah, not having those sort of social networks around them currently at the moment, how do you think they're dealing with that? Or what do you think the impact of that might be? Yeah, I, I reckon it would be painful for them. Mm -hmm. But like, at the same time, yeah, yeah. Um, and when they go back to school, I guess they, they've been used to, I guess we're going to have the, the opposite, where people have been isolated and then gradually pushed back into situations where they're around other young people. What are the, some of the challenges you think young people are going to face when they, I guess, do start to re-engage with other people and you know, are in classroom settings or in large group settings? Do you think it's going to change the way they interact with each other? Yeah, I reckon it will. 
I, I reckon it will. I reckon it will in a positive way. Yeah. It's just being able to, to miss it. It's just, you know, miss other people. You know, I, I think like just, just the whole, all the communities in general, you know, people are getting to know their neighbours. You know, when they get back to school, they're, they're going to want to know, you know, how, how was this and so, how do they handle everything, you mm -hmm. know, other people. Other kids as well. I reckon it's going to be a real positive. Yeah, absolutely. I guess lots of people are now used to using Zoom as we are here and an online meeting. Yeah. It's a real, um, a real education in listening, just to stop and let the other person talk and not certainly not yeah. talk over them. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, it's, it's one of the skills, I guess, that we um, we all could do. It certainly, I could. A little more talk, maybe a little bit less, talk a bit less, and, and, and listen a little more. And I think you're right that the um, some of the uh, the skills and attributes that we're all learning and, and developing that perhaps before you felt maybe weren't there, that this is actually a, a really good tool, or this is a, an opportunity at the moment to share some of those um, and learn some of those skills. Um, just only one last thing, I guess, on from my, my perspective, working with young people, um, hundreds and hundreds, and maybe thousands of kids you've been engaged with what's one of the, what's a, a key thing that you've learned from young people what's one of the things that they've taught you where you've you've opened yourself up and you know looked at those opportunities one thing you've learned from working with young people man like we're all the same we're, we're all the same like uh, if anything like you know, um I, I do with my kids like uh i, I talk to them like I talk to anyone else, mm -hmm. you know, and I've, people, you know, have different thoughts on that. You know, there's, there's ways to be in, in certain settings and stuff like that. But like, you know, kids, kids teach me just to be like, just be yourself, man. You know, and that's what I encourage for them, just to, to know who you are and, and you get to choose who you are and then what you want to, to apply into your life, you know, and just, um, yeah. Um, Funny man, I always told myself I'll always be 16 years old. You know, and I'm, in, I'm in my 40s, man, and like you know, I guess you know the, the spirit of a 16 year old is still within me, you know. Yeah. And I think it's wow, you know, how uh, me engage with the world, you know. Yeah. So, so I guess that goes back to your viewpoint around about being, being being genuine. So you're the same way you are with yeah, man. your children as, as with adults, with, with teachers. Yeah. With, Whoever it might be that you're working with, it's consistency and uh, being reliable and, and relatable, I guess. Yeah, that's right. And I, I guess we're, we're, we're all teachers in our own ways. But like being in, in the school and then being a teacher is like, yeah. But for, for me, it's sort of like I am who I am. And I, I wear hats to cover my head, but, you know, I, Terry's joke, you know. Yeah. Right. I think that, that, that's probably a good way to, uh, to wrap that up, Joe is Joe. So, uh, Joe, I'm going, to give you a, I'm going to give you a fist bump. Because oh, man. There we go. And uh, like when this is uh, this is uh, merges through, looking forward to catching up with you uh, in person again pretty soon. And, yeah, looking forward to seeing you out there uh, working with the uh, students in the amazing way that you do. So, appreciate your time right, today. Right. Hopefully, I've certainly got a lot, of it, a lot out of it and lots of things to put in practice with my kids as well, I guess, so. Great to see you, mate, yeah, and uh, speak to you soon. We're for each other, man. Thanks, brother. See you, mate. Bye-bye. See you, mate.